Hi, just a little bit more with 8.3, another discrete one um, before we go to continuous. But I noticed I put this on that quiz 7 that you're going to be starting. Um, so I'll get you started and do part of part A. I mean, it, it simplifies really nice and then I'll leave B and C um, just just because I, I feel like I need to get you started on one, at least a C, and then um, probably another one will be on a homework set or um, test two or something like that. Um, here, let me just start up here. The An urn contains, I don't know why we always use urns in probability, but uh, eight reds, six whites, four blues. Um, let's change pen color because I'm not sure if you can read the red. Oh, this is a nice blue. Um, sample of three chips is drawn without replacement. So that's making me think hypergeometric. It's kind of like the Keno problem or a lottery plot problem. X is the number of red. And Y is the number of white. So um, to get the conditional, I need the marginal of X and I need the joint. So the joint is, um, let me see, let's just build, we know there's three colors. Um, how many total chips is that? 18, right? So 18 and we're choosing three. And uh, we have eight, six, and four. Um, Let's see, X is the number of red, uh, Y is the number of white, and then uh, 3 minus X minus Y, right? Everybody left over, uh, chips left over will be blue. Um, X could be 0, 1, 2, or 3. Y could be 0, 1, 2, or 3. And together, um, they have to be less than or equal to 3. And let's see what else. Um, the marginal, so let's write the marginal over here. The marginal of x is just a hypergeometric. 18 choose 3, um, 8 choose x, 10 choose 3 minus x, and this is valid for 0, 1, 2, or 3. Okay, so my uh, conditional and I'm just going to start it out for you. And uh, I can tell you it simplifies to come out to a very, very nice expression. So I just look at my joint. And yes, I used to get a lot of uh, thorn comments about my joints, but uh, what can you say? I like joints. No, joint distributions. Um, here's A choose X. Uh, 10 choose 3 minus X over 18 choose 3. So you can see there's some nice canceling. Let's even switch it to red for a moment, right? I mean, I can cancel, I can cancel. So it'll come out to be a nice expression. So um, what you know then when you get your support, X is going to be defined for 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then y is equal 0, 1, up to 3 minus x. I mean, y is dependent on x. If x is equal to 2, then y can only be 0 or 1. So your support's written a little bit differently now. x can be 0, 1, 2, or 3. And y is 0, 1, up to 3 minus x. So you should get a very, well, a nicer expression here. That's the conditional. Once you get the conditional, then you can certainly stick in x equal 1 to get, when x is 1, then you should have a range of y can go from 0 to 2. And then once you have that conditional, you should be able to find the expected value of y given x equals 1. That's just using um, this guy and then summing over your y's. So um, that is in quiz number seven and you're you can ask more questions if you want with that but that just gets you um started